click in this video to create a BPM and diagram for your assignment. You want to select blank drawing, so just go in and double click on it. It will give you the screen. Um, and on the left side, you can see there are no stencils selected. And in, if you go into search, you can search for BPM and specific shapes. So th this gives you some, not all that we need. So if you click on more results, it'll give you an expanded list. And that's exactly what we're looking for. The way the shapes work, it's drag and drop. So if you select this symbol, you select it and you drag it onto the canvas. Um, so I just want to show you a sample process. And for that, I need two more links. One more. Let me just zoom in here. And as you can see, you can you can move the objects up or down, or left or right, so that it fits on the canvas. And if you double click on the title, you can go and rename it. Okay, so this is done. Um, next step will be to select the start event from here and drag drag it onto the canvas. Following the start event, I'm gonna have two tasks. And you can name the tasks if you select it and then double click it. So this one's going to be turn back to retailer, and this one's going to be placement bike procurement to customer. Following that, you want to connect the start event and tasks. And again, just go and drag and drop errors. And as you can see, you can expand it, you can shorten it so that you always have a clear connection. And I'm going to have a third task, which will be hybrid. CBI. Okay. And then again, I want to connect the object, and this time I'll connect the first task that I have with the last one. Okay, that's done. I fast the mapping out of the process, so what is left to do now, you want to go and drag, drop an end event to indicate that the process is done, and connect the previous task to apply a charge with the end event and that's it the process is mapped out